So today we are heading out to New Smyrna Beach. Um, but first, before we go, I kind of want to do the Killian review. I'm not sure if we have much time to shoot this. So that being said, um, we probably actually won't shoot it right now. But what we will do is I'm thinking about bringing the fragrances to New Smyrna Beach and smelling them with my friends there. Um, I haven't seen them in a really long time, so this may be a little awkward. I'm gonna be like, smell my arm, smell smell this. Do you like this? Smell this. Oh my gosh. Mmm, smell this. <laughs> so um, I'm gonna show you guys what we're working with today. I have it in my fragrance drawer and there are four Killian perfumes that I am going to review. And the ones that I have are um, Love Don't Be Shy, which is this one is like Rihanna. Supposedly this is Rihanna's um, signature scent. I don't know how true that is. I really don't believe a whole lot of stuff on the internet. Um, if you look at older pictures of Love Don't Be Shy, you'll notice that it's a little bit more of a pink juice in the bottle. This one's actually very clear. I got all of these from Sephora.com. Um, I have the app on my phone. It is very dangerous. And <laughs> I'm sure my husband doesn't appreciate it, but here we are. And it leads to some good reviews, so we're gonna roll with it. Um, but Love Don't Be Shy, this one is super sugary, super sweet, a very marshmallowy cotton candy. I feel like this smells so much like cotton candy. Um, the wear isn't super, super long. So on me, when I use like a body oil, it lasts about six hours, um, but it dries down to a really pretty powdery sugar. This is for someone who likes more of a sophisticated sugar scent. So maybe you wore pink sugar for a really long time. Maybe you're into like juicy fragrances and you're looking for something uh, sexy, flirty, sweet, and just really pretty. This one is fantastic. So this one, it's just, it literally smells like sugar. I was wearing it today actually at the gym and I was going smell my arm, like smell my wrist um, to everyone who was in the gym that I'm friends with, not weird, not like being a weirdo. I'm friends with like everyone at the gym. And they were saying that it smells like chocolate, cotton candy, uh, sugar. Uh, one of my friends did say that it's almost too sweet for her liking. So it's a very, I would say it's a very polarizing scent. When I first got it personally, I felt like it was way too sweet. I wasn't about it, even though I did like pink sugar as a younger, you know, as like a teen in my early 20s. Um, I just felt like it was a little too, a little too much was what I felt. Let me turn my phone down. I just felt like it was a little too much um, of the sweetness. And it almost has like a, almost like a cherry sweetness to it. Um, but it's, it's absolutely beautiful if you like the sweet scent. So I heard a YouTuber who was explaining the fragrances as a person. This one, Love Don't Be Shy. If Love Don't Be Shy were a person, I feel like she'd be the super sweet girl who's friends with everybody. Um, she's like the type of girl who bakes people cakes for their birthdays. She never forgets anything. She's kind of like everyone's BFF. Um, but she's also just like very talented. Like she has a lot of talents that are like maybe um, cooking, sewing, uh, skateboarding like she's just she has like these bursts of talent that come out where that are maybe unexpected so she's just kind of like one of those people who can do it all um, but she does it with a very ease and grace to her so that's kind of this fragrance is like a fun playful ease and grace is how I would describe this one very sweet the next one we're gonna talk about is I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess. This is such a long name for a fragrance and it's such a bummer because this is like one of my favorite uh, fragrances by Killian. I just really, 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 really love this one. It smells so good to me. I'm gonna actually spray it on my hand. It just has this really pretty, like at first whiff, it's almost a little bit spicy. It's very sensual. 
but it's not overbearing. You could still wear this to the office. Like if I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess for a person, she would be sophisticated, sweet. She would be the type of girl who gets everything done. She's just one of those people who has everything together. I feel like she has a ton of planners, you know, like the happy planner. I feel like she has a ton of happy planners. She's very organized. She likes to have fun. Like she's the one who goes out to drinks like happy hour with her coworkers after work or with her best friends. She was probably voted class president, very smart. But she also transitions into being the life of the party. She's very much the center of attention. She's just effortlessly cool without having to try. That's what I don't need a prince by my side to be a princess is all about. So there's that one. Um, the notes, I'm going to have to look up the notes for you guys because off the top of my head, just smelling it, I can't quite place it. So I don't need a prince. Okay, so I guess this one's just going by Princess Eau de Parfum, and I'm really glad that they are um, because it's just way too long. Anyways, I want to tell you guys that these are a great way to try um, more of the boutique fragrances without spending a ton of money. If you are blind buying, these are $30. You can get them at Sephora, so if you do not like them, you can exchange them, I believe. Don't quote me on that. Um, but I really do like the fact that you can get them in smaller sizes. They're great for travel. I like them because I'm always on the go. I like to throw it in my purse to touch up, especially with like love, don't be shy. I mean that one, it just, it fades after about six hours you want to touch up. Um, they're great for that. So this one is warm and spicy. It is warm and sweet gourmand. So the keynotes are ginger, green tea, and marshmallow. So I just feel like it's very... It is sassy. It has a little bit of a sass to it. She's sassy and smart. That's what Princess is. Sassy and smart. The next one we're going to review is Good Girls Gone Bad. I actually have this one on right now, so I'm currently wearing it. This one is just so, oh my gosh, like you can tell, like I've only had these I think for a week. And I guess I've used these ones both the same amount. But I absolutely love this one. This one, um, I don't overspray this one. I actually spray maybe three to five sprays of the Good Girl Gone Bad. Um, it just has like a, so Good Girl Gone Bad, I know why I like this one. It's because it does have that top note of orange blossom. It has the two burrows in there. It's very much like an exotic, wild, floral garden. Like that's exactly what this one smells like. It's literally like an enchanted garden. Like, the girl who wears this is more kind of like a Alice in Wonderland, like adventurous, curious, not afraid to explore new things, not afraid to try new things. She's very um, quick-witted. She's very, like, balanced um, in nature. She's very, like, feminine and light, light touch, um, light scent. It's a very very like light scent um but then again you don't need a whole lot of it either to make an impact like three to five sprays and you're like good to go with this one it's just a very very beautiful beautiful scent with that mix of the orange blossom the tuberose it's just a very pretty like sophisticated light scent so that's one of my favorites and then the last one i'm going to review today is um angel share and I love, 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 love Angel Share. So Angel Share is definitely, it can go very masculine. On me, it is actually extremely masculine. It smells like a apple cinnamon pie with a shot of brandy on the side. It's very much, it has almost like a boozy quality to it. You can smell that, that uh, spice, like you can smell the cinnamon you can smell the apple it's just it's almost edible it smells so good and i've tried this on my husband um and he loves it so it's a very unisex fragrance if you were sharing with um your significant other and you were different sexes it's definitely very unisex uh fragrance 
It's very rich. It's very bold. If Angel Share was a woman, she would be very bold, very daring. She would be very, she'd be like the leader of the pack. You would look to her for direction. She's very confident in her nature. She's very confident in what she says, what she does. She just kind of has this effortless flow to her where people look at her you know they look to her for fashion they look to her for advice they look to her for um what she's up to you know she's very much making waves and she's doing it very angelically that's angel share like i'm gonna look up the notes for you guys but angel share is so beautiful it is just one of those that's so pretty and i do want to get the apple brandy there's a couple other killian fragrances i do want to get when you're getting to know a perfume house and you're kind of like dating it um is what i call it when you get like samples and you're trying it out you're seeing if you like it um you can start to tell different houses like the dna that runs through all of them you know the kind of common signature um, to a particular perfumer one of those where I feel very confident blind buying because I feel like you can't really go wrong like you really just can't um, if you like you know angel share if you like that kind of like boozy um, sweet gourmand fragrance you'll probably like the house of by Killian because it has that kind of um, undertone to it so angel share the bottles are so beautiful by the way like i do need to buy the full size bottle because you can see it is absolutely stunning so the booziness is the cognac in the fragrance so it opens up with an oil of cognac and then it blends into a oak absolute which is what you really smell it oakiness it just gives it like a very sensual very warm feel to it um then it turns with the cinnamon essence tonka bean absolute and sandalwood, praline, 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 and vanilla. So it's just a very edible, very spicy, very sexy fragrance. It is sexy. It is confident. It's amazing. Um, so that is my, I said I wouldn't even do it. I said I didn't have time to do this, so I'm very proud of myself. Uh, but that is the review. I gotta go. I gotta get to dinner. Um, it's like an hour and a half drive. So much love you guys and um i may actually bring these and see what they think i hate being that weirdo at the table i have some fun doing it so so maybe i'll see their thoughts on it too just ask them hey you know what do you think of this and see what their opinions are what's up guys so we are in new smyrna beach i'm just gonna show you around it's like i've never been here before it's kind of like it's cute kind of reminds me a little bit of like mount dora super residential the water is just like right up here and i don't think this is where we're going but there's like a lot of cute little it's kind of like a san diego meets mount dora v cute all right so is this where we're going i think this is where we're going okay adorable i love the little fire feature hello so we have Allie and Nick, and they're gonna be doing a semi fragrance review. All right, so Allie, you can smell it first. Okay, don't be shy. Ooh, this one like is really refreshing. I like that. Like it. You love it? Okay. Yeah. Fresh. It's like a light. It's really light. It's really, light. It's really springy. I, like it. I love it. I love it. That's like one of my favorite fragrances. Did you know that that's Rihanna's favorite fragrance? Really? Yeah, that's her signature fragrance. Wow. That is like, it's like the female version of Pimache. Yeah. You know what I mean? That really nice. Allie's good at this. I love it. You're gonna be like covered in fragrance. I don't need prints on my side. It's so long. It's they call it princess now. Princess. Hug your nose. I feel like to reset your. Okay, I like this because I really like like darker, deeper. Like I like anything that has a woodsy, darker scent. It's so totally like. You like that one? That would be my vibe. I'm wearing that one today. I like yeah. love that one. It smells so good. Anything that's like deeper, like this kind of reminds me of 
Anything that's like woodsy or like sandalwoody. It's that's so good. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so the next one is Angel Share. You might it smells good. It's like uh, Jameson. Yeah. It's very masculine though. You know how like it's like the other ones are more feminine, more sweet, more light. He's a cologne, so he would know. Do you like it? Yeah. He would wear that. Yeah. It, it, Smells like seriously, kind of like, like a rich genius. Reminds me of college. It's good. <laughs> the classy way. Classy. classy college. Okay, I can't read that. Good, good girl gone bad. This is like. More like really refined and classy. I like that. Like that would be. It's light. It's subtle. It's springy. I taste a little. Not taste. I smell a little flower. Total floral. Yeah. It's very feminine. And girly. Yeah. So that one's supposed to be like the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Like it's like the flowers. It's very and she's like, yeah, very feminine. Yeah. Yours are really. You I should feel like perfume when someone walks by. Like I'm surprised. You know what I mean? It's kind of. It's a double take perfume. Yeah. yeah. What one's your favorite one, and which one's your least favorite one? Um, um, <laughs> is this the woodsy one that I like? Yeah. Yeah. This one for sure. Um, and the first one that we did. Which is... Wait, was it the first one? You guys liked Angels, or no? You liked um. Love, don't be shy. Yeah. I guess I, I, I think the last one would just be my least favorite, and you know it's really feminine and curly. Yeah. My vibe. Do you like more of like an in-depth, like more woodsy? Yeah. Okay. What do you think, Nick? Um. Yeah, I go with this one, the first one. I like a lot. Um, what was it called? Love, don't be shy. Yeah, love, don't be shy. I like that. And then this one. An attention getter. Walk, attention getter. Right, someone walks past you. I love it. Okay. This is really sexy. I love it. So, Princess was the sexy one. Mm -hmm. I love you. Thank you for supporting the channel. Don't forget to hit subscribe with the bell notification and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Um, I'm going to be reviewing Anna Sui soon, the collection that I got from her. Um, I have a couple other fun ones too, the Montal collection. I have a makeup tutorial, a couple makeup tutorials. So uh, stay tuned and I will see you guys soon.